So we are going to be talking about one of the biggest deals that just happened. Do you know this? The biggest streaming deal so far. Yes, and not so streaming service, big streamer deal. And we are talking about the one, the only, XQC, the juicer. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes. So, we are talking about the juicer himself <laughs> and his $100 million contract. Do you know what platform so he's going to? So wild. I think I've heard of it, but you can say it. He is going to kick.com. So kick.com from what I had heard and from what I've seen seems like a kind of a reskin of Twitch. Mm. So it's kind of crazy. Um, it is, it is in part funded or it is funded by stake.com, a mm. gamble, crypto yeah, gambling yeah. website. Um, kind of crazy ju- that within itself, they have for their creators, a 95% split. So mm-hmm. the creator gets 95%, they get 5% as opposed to Twitch's 50-50. Or if you're in the partner program, they're a uh, 70-30 split. Uh, just a little more details on that. It's like if you have to hold like 300 subscribers um, for I think like a month or something. I don't really remember. But it is one of the biggest deals. Yeah, I think it's also crazy that it's not an exclusive deal either. Oh yeah, the, yeah, it's not exclusive. They don't have. He doesn't have to go and only use Kick. Yeah, he can use whichever platform he wants, any of them. So my theory on this is that he's gonna stream on Twitch for a little bit, and then he's gonna go and hop on um, Kick. Kick to drive those viewers over. I mean, it's been like this story itself is like a week old. So there's a couple of things that have already developed. Yes. But the thing is, too, just because of the contract itself, um, just for context, LeBron James got a 90, I believe it was like 90, right? $90 million contract to play for two years. And uh, people were saying that XQC had almost exactly the same deal or if not better than lebron james yeah 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 it's kind of crazy yeah it is crazy Mm. do you have any thoughts Mm, i do okay i gathered them all right now so i think because of the whole um gambling aspect of it is that there is a chance that they do make up the difference by dragging these these uh, people from Twitch or other platforms to their platform where they could, in fact, have people sit through them playing or, like, uh, playing ads or slots or, or gambling, effectively, and then serving them gambling ads. Yeah. And then these gambling ads pay the money, and then the there's a chance that the people who watch the gambling ads will then go to the gambling site and then gamble. Yeah. So then, you know, and once they get on that site, it's just, you know, money's rolling in. So the crazy thing is, too, that steak had been estimated to make, I believe it was about $2 billion dollars. La- in last year mm-hmm. so it's kind of a crazy uh statistic when you take a look at it and the thing is too that more content creators now are going to be going to kick to kick yeah, yeah just because it's like the revenue split is just too enticing um, yeah and it's kind of crazy it's kind of crazy just to even think about um that whole situation I mean, yeah, because uh, my prediction, my prediction is that within the next year or so, they eat a lot of Twitch's market cap. The thing is that, like, for the kick platform, the kick platform is only a vessel for the gambling. Yes. 
So Twitch itself is a streaming platform and they make money through advertising to people who want to watch streams. Mm -hmm. The purpose of kick is that to get people to gamble or to watch gambling ads or to watch things. So like the thing is that like Twitch, they don't advertise it. That's like part of the thing that they don't do that. So I think the fact that Twitch's purpose is that they want to be profitable is different than kicks where they just want eyeballs on there and potential yeah. new customers to pay play gambling games. It the thing is too, Twitch is not profitable. Twitch, yeah, exactly. Yeah, Twitch isn't profitable. But if you get it, it could be argued to be said that if you get more people to gamble, yeah, yeah, and that's the whole point. If you get people to you know play more, well. I mean, slots by large is, is one of their largest. It is. Uh, I saw a yeah. picture. Yeah, it, I did too. Yeah. It's, it's it, the largest. It is the largest uh, segment of that area. It's for kick. For kick. Kick is number one is slot machines. Number two is this talking. Yes. And the thing is, you know what they also said? They want to pay their creators like an hourly wage. And hourly wage they, yeah. so they're in in addition to the other split yeah the other split yeah i think really that, i think personally <clears throat> it probably wouldn't be a lot but at the same time it's like you would at least get something um, i feel like for smaller ones it would make more sense th than like a larger person they they're, they're they want to experiment with a lot of things but uh, yeah. at the same time i could say that it's arguably good for more competition to be out there because all the other stream streaming sites kind of went down like mixer facebook yeah, mixer, yeah like all these other places um i do see an issue though is that a lot of streamers and a lot of people in the content creation space have have morals have things that they don't want to like do mm -hmm. but if you're an hourly employee working for a company then the rules kind of flip where like now you're under obligation to potentially promote things that you may not be uh wanting oh, to promote. Yeah, I could see that. Yeah. So like, oh well, we're paying you to to stream, so we want you to, you know, talk about this thing or like have this on your video somewhere or you're in your stream somewhere. And it's like, well well no. And it's like, well, then we're not gonna pay you. Yeah. Like you're not gonna get paid. And it's like, okay, fine. You know it's so crazy thinking about it too that this whole it's crazy <clears throat> because this all started because of Twitch banning gambling. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it makes sense considering like the demographic that would potentially be watching. Yeah, it's uh, it's very. It, there's there's a lot of people on both sides saying that gambling's this. okay. No, that some people oh. are like, oh, it's like they like cake, but uh, and they accept that it's by a gambling website. Or there's other people who are like, I don't like cake because it is funded by a gambling website. Yeah, I mean. <sighs> Cause like it's tough because you are effectively choosing a side where you're thinking that like, okay, well if you, you're basically funding or helping gambling by using kick effectively yeah. or promoting it in some way. But like the other ones that like, if they, like, Oh, I'd rather just a pure experience, you know, none of that. And then it's like, well, you, they're not as lucrative for the creator and you know you, and you know what if you watch <clears throat> if you watch some of the old um xqc streams you would mm -hmm. know that he had gambled before yeah there's a bunch of people that did gamble mm -hmm. but um i will say that it's crazy because like if you think michael jordan is like top of his game during mm -hmm. during his time that's xqc because xqc for the past like two years has been the biggest streamer mm -hmm. and has had the most watch hours mm -hmm. or uh, or just stream hours compared to anyone else he legitimately is the, the biggest streamer and now that kick has him it's a huge blow to twitch everyone in that situation wins except for twitch because I would say they they still are okay. Oh yeah, no, they still are. Because the there's not exclusive because 
the thing is that there are some people, like you said, that refuse to go on to kick. Yeah. And they will still only watch on Twitch. And I think XQC knows this, that it's hard to move people from one platform to another. You have, but he's slow. I feel like he's slowly going to be taking them away. Yeah. And that chips at Twitch's, chips at Twitch's audience. Because the thing is, like, you have, you could, you, you could go and argue that if you're a smaller creator, you see that the biggest creator ha- is moving platforms. And mm-hmm. he's saying that the revenue split is 95 5. That's a huge revenue split. Like, let's say a, sub- a subscription is $5, right? Yeah. Um, you give, like, essentially, Twitch takes $2.50 from you. Imagine them only taking, like, $4.90 and, like, 90 cents or something. $4.50. And mm. now that image changes because you're like, well, in two subscriptions, I can make, like, $9.00. And compared to Twitch, where in two subscriptions, I only make $5. Or you can go yeah. on YouTube and make zero. Or you can go on YouTube. You, yeah, that's true. Well, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Yeah, that's yeah. Awesome. So it's kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy just thinking about all of this. Yeah, because like, I think the question is not for... Okay, so my view is that for smaller streamers, it's more of a question of discoverability. Yeah. Which site has the best discoverability? Right now, I think Kick is mostly um, with people who are going for a specific person or people. Yeah. They're not going to go look for new people. So you're bringing your audience to Kick. If you're a new streamer, you need to find a place that is promoting the new or like getting people from one streamer to another or like getting the audience, like, building other people up. Because, like, if you're a small person, you're still going to be a small person on the other thing. So, so zero is still zero. So it's, it's funny you mentioned discoverability. So I'm going to pull out this wow statistic for you that I read the other day. I think this was in 2021. Um, mm-hmm. So, I, and then if, if this is wrong, I'll fact check it. But it's, I, I'm like, for the most part, I think it, it is correct. Um, so to be in the top 15% of streamers on Twitch... Mm-hmm. What do you imagine is the average audience size? People watching you. 1,000. It is about 11 people. 11? 11 people puts you in the top 15%. 11. 11. I think it's probably like maybe 28, but it's it's low to put you in the top. 11. 11, yeah. That's wild. It's very li- low, by the way, because the thing is most people stream to one to two people really yeah there's seven million i believe there's seven million active users or people who go and hit the live button every month on twitch huh and i believe like only like only like the top 10 percent, or even like the top like five percent get most of the views Hmm. and those are the biggest streamers interesting those are the ludwigs of the of the of the of the streamer the world, world or the moist criticals I mean, yeah Penguins, see like or the, Hassan. i don't think those people are, are too concerned with a 95 five. no no those people aren't concerned because they're rich already no 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 as in like the um Hassan said he'll no, never leave <laughs> if so. you're um a small streamer and you have 11 people yeah i mean obviously it makes more but then like you're still on the fact that like you are wanting to get bigger yeah. So you need more discoverability. I still think that like 11 people, you still need more discoverability. Even yeah. if you're in the top 15%, it's like... But, but think about all those other people that only stream. Because the majority of Twitch, I think it's like... like, I think it's like 80% of Twitch. Yeah. Streams yeah. to like one to two people. Which is insane. Which is fair. Yeah. It's, it's crazy. Uh, yeah. But I mean, yeah. Because I mean... Hmm. There's gonna be a lot of facts right here, by the way. Really? I mean, yeah, I I suppose so. Cause I'm like, the thing is that like YouTube is not exactly designed for for that. No, this you- whole thing. It, it's like discover like YouTube's discoverability is very high mm-hmm. because like people are are looking for videos all the time, and that's it's basically a search engine of videos. If you want discoverability, go on TikTok. <laughs> That is true. But TikTok doesn't do live streams. Do they, they do live streams. They do live streams. Yeah, so does Instagram. 
Oh, I know Instagram. I mean, well, Facebook Live and yeah. whatnot, but yeah, and TikTok does it too. They can put a hat on you. Yeah, they can put a TikTok hat. They give you stickers. They do a bunch of random nice. stuff. But yeah, so main story. Yes, it is XQC's world, and we just live in it in the streamer world. I don't know how much. So they also have Amaranth. They you did know. just get Amaranth. I just yeah. read that. I yeah. don't know how much they paid her, but I don't know. I don't think she disclosed it, but that is insane too. So they have the number one and number one male and number one female from yeah Twitch. Yeah, I think she is. I I think she was the number one. I I don't what? know. I, I, don't, I don't know, know anymore. But I, I, that's what an article said. So that's your number one, or was number maybe one. Iron Mouse is number one VTuber female, but I don't know. I don't know. Um. But yes, that is the story, and it is crazy. It's still developing. We'll see yes. what's to come in the future years. Are you yeah. getting going to kick? Huh? No, I'm not going to kick. Oh, yeah, us. Yeah, we go to kick. No, 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 you. No, Would you I'm ever not. go watch on kick? Uh, watch on kick? Yeah. yeah why, well, do I, why, why not? Why not? Yeah. Support. I watched on YouTube already. I went to Ludwig's. Oh, really? Yeah. I follow mm. Ludwig to YouTube. I usually just watch uh, edited VODs because I, I don't... There's a lot of fluff involved with it. And a there lot of like... Lot. I say pageantry. People always say with in engagement. So like, I, like as a normal watcher, like the streamer interacting with chat is not as interesting as like the content that the streamer is doing. Yeah. So I would prefer just waiting for a VOD to come out or like an edited piece where they are just doing the the thing that they say they were going to do yeah. in the video. So like that's my take is that like there's a lot of downtime that I'm not as interested in, as interested in. Mm-hmm. Like yeah, I'm interested in the topic that they're going to do, but I'm not interested exactly on the interact like it's great if you're the person interacting with the the streamer, which is like yeah, oh they like we're able to talk or like able yeah. to connect. But to me as like a a watcher or an enjoyer of the content, I would rather just have that uh not exactly there yeah yeah it makes sense it makes sense i watch a lot of edited vods too by the way yeah but i mean if a streamer is live i usually try to check really them. yeah i would not yeah i know i, it's, I it's, would oh mm. i know yeah. it really depends it really depends to be honest